Well, these people are not upset. Well, these people. I don't need a puppy. I don't need stuff. Alright, pre-workout, this is my pre-workout right here, so I take like one, just one and a quarter of super drive, glutamine, I love glutamine, glutamine is a staple in my diet, Pre um, before cardio, I take in 10 grams, before workout, I take in 10 grams, intra, post-workout, I love it, and um, I'm like a fish. Half a scoop of that, and this is the drink that I'll have on the way to the gym. So when I get there, it's finished. There you rock. Um, put the intro worker in, and we can go. There you are. This is glutamine. We take uh, ten grams of glutamine. This is intra. This is post. One scoop of both mean last post and intro. This is glycophilus. 25 grams per scoop. So I have one post workout and a half. And then intro, I have 25 grams. This must be kind of shit. There you go. Steal up. Creatine. I have to eyeball this. Creatine monohydrate. 10 grams intra. About just over 5 grams post. So that is post workout right there. This is intro. Now on to post over shit. One and a half scoops of ice cream. chocolate. If you have I've been doing this now for the last eight weeks. Nothing's changed. The only thing I've added in is cardio. Carbohydrates are still pretty high on my workout, up to about 125 grams of carbs, just around my, my pre, intra and post workout. So, um, as of now, I've dropped down about 10 pounds since starting my diet and changing things up. So, I'm really happy. In the last two weeks I've added in cardio, and that's only 20 minutes first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And my training hasn't changed at all, it's the same style of training from my off-season all the way now to, to uh, pre-contest. So um, until I think we're gonna be about six weeks out is when we're gonna start looking at the, the carb content around the workout. Other than that, you know, we're gonna keep on going in and if the weight is dropping, we might not even change it at all. So this is it guys. And these are all my Gaspari products I use around the uh, pre, intra and post workout. We're on, we're on the way to the gym. And we got Sean Barbarossa in the back seat for all you guys who know Sean, he's the one that I train with for all my Olympia prep and he was in the last flex online video. This is the uh, intro workout that I made in the house earlier. Let's do it. Yeah. Flex Lewis oh. Classic winner. Heavyweight. Alright, how are you? 2013. Good. James Davis here. Yeah. James Davis. My training partner here. Yeah. Training partner. Thank you. <laughs> Kicking over. <laughs> In the last couple of weeks, it's one of the first things that I actually start with. Uh, it's uh, a phenomenal exercise, not uh, pull-ups. I used to do about 30 of these when I was uh, 15, 16 years old. 
unfortunately, um, them days are gone. But uh, as long as you're doing the squeeze, the stretch, it's, it's a great start. For me, it's a great start that exercise or end in exercise. Because it hits the lats, the top, so as long as you're pulling up and squeezing, contracting at the top, full range of motion, pulling up, lifting that chest and squeezing. You can even do holes and sort of a semi-negative down. Play around with it. You'll be surprised. Stand off in two plates. We'll probably work out to three, maybe three and a half. If you see, I've done 10 reps, full range, 10 reps short, picking up the speed, and then full extension, hold. And we're aiming for about 25 reps. And again, every piece of that exercise is divided into three. So you get a full stretch, full range of motion, first one, fast, short range of motion, and then a squeeze at the very end. Pump! And 10, okay, pick it up there. Five, four, three, two, one, oh. stretch. Oh, good. <laughs> now I can put five, six plates on this and throw it around. But first of all, it's not gonna look good. And you guys at home are gonna look at it and think, look at that form of shit. I could drop the weight, control it, up the reps a little bit, for really to get in and feel our muscle. Weight is gonna come up over time. And that's what, you know, me training this style for as long as I have, my strength has gone up, you know. Once was two plates, now it's four plates. It's all about that mind to muscle connection. If you want to be a power lifter, train like one. If you want to be a bodybuilder, trust your training. Come on, zone fuck in now, bro, come on. Six weeks, let's go. Look, let's go, come on. She's mad, she's Crazy detail, come on. Every rep. Make it count. Right. Ugh. Hold the fucker. Come on. Not cheating. Ugh. Come on. Hold it. Ugh. Two more. Hold it. Ugh. Last one. Big hold. Three, two. Ugh. Let's go. Drop. Drop. Play the quarter. Three points. One more. Nine. Ten. Good. Hold. Squeeze. Good. And again. Go. Come on. Let's go. Get them up. Good. And again. Get them up. That's it. Good. Over the bar, as opposed to holding the handles. This is going to give your body a different angle straight away. So, throwing his feet out into the bar, even like this, popping in. Then he's going to use his ball, throw your ass out. So, your chest it down more, put down there. Spread your legs out more, back. That's it. Now, he's going to angle your body, come back, throwing us all the way back. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Fourteen. Fourteen. Come on. What you got? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good. Two. Good. Oh, come and again. On. Oh. Come on. Fifteen reps. Third working set. Three or three. No less than fifteen. No more than twenty if, if performed correctly. One, two, three, four, five. Third. Second. Come on. Third set. Yourself, 
feet back head in. And stabilize your body and put your feet back where you need to. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Then, last one. Come on, let's go. Three, four, come on, take. Eight, come on. Get him. Nine. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. In, Sean. Come on, pull him in. Come on. Single. As you can see, I keep my training pretty fast. I go, you go, I go, you go type of style. Uh, this last set, because we're going um, not heavy and necessary, we actually drop the weight down. But I want more stricter form, keeping the number uh, as high as I can. Me and Flex have been training this exact same style for the past almost four years together. Um, I was one of the first ones to come out and just see how much weight I could put on the bar. Uh, you know, rep something three or four times. And when I started training with Flex, with the Spari, 108 mil heel, I found out that you can still grow, as Flex was saying earlier in this, you know, with, with lowering the weight, concentrating on the squeeze. Because fatiguing the muscles, fatiguing the muscle, and you can get it a lot deeper by slowing the rep down, getting muscle control. That's exactly what this training is all about. We do have sets where we go heavy. And then we have the majority of sets where we're slowing down, squeezing, tearing down the muscle, doing drop sets, giant sets, super sets, things of that nature. It's just the best way to train. And you'll still stay strong. You'll get stronger just like when you train with power. Except you'll be able to get deeper into the muscle and it's more effective. Come on, 10, go. 11, come on. 12, come on. 13, come on. And again, 13, come on, let's go again. Get it up. Go on. Singles, come on, one. Singles, two. Come on, three more, no fucking about. Two. Big pull, fight. The last time I used this, I broke it. You guys follow me on my Instagram. This is the thing I broke. Let's hope it holds up this time. Three, two, one. Oh, that shit don't sound too good. Come on. Wait. Slight. Slight. Two. Three. Come on. Two. Good. And one. Set. Let's go. It's fucking six weeks. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Two. So the range of motion is a little shorter. So again, without sacrificing your form, and you see some guys throwing their back up just to get the weight up for weight sake. This is all strict. So basically, all back. So again, the motion is short, as opposed to you seeing guys throwing back and forth. Nice and short, 90 degree back, pulling in, elbows back. And for this, again, I like the rep ranges around about no less than 12. Five. I got it. Good. Good. Four. Come on. All day. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Two. Get them up. Last one. Get them up. Up. No. Breathe. Get your head back in. Let's go. Five. Pull. One. Pull. Two. Pull. Three. Pull. Last one. Yes. Four, here, fifth, fourth, as you want it, third, second, first place right here, first, get it up, good. We haven't done any lower back today. Um, I train back every six days. The next worker will have majority of the lower back um, with some, again, upper back thrown into it. So this is a hyperextension machine, conventional, old school style. But we're going to instead, we're going to do something with a twist. You're hitting your lower back, but also when you're doing this, you're hitting your lats too. Upper lats. So 10 of these, like Superman style. Come on. Good. Come on. To the death, to the death. Two, three, 
four. Six, come on, let's go. Come on, flex. Eight. Nine. Set. Oh, top five. Fourth. Good. Second. Third. Is it good? I'm the number one in the world. I want to remain that. I do everything in my power to make sure of that. And that just goes for the 1% factor. So all my shakes are designed to fuel my body for, fuel my body during, and fuel my body after. Good set. Down. Drive, 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 drive. None. All well. In. Good set.